more than 20 fire prevention and rescue plans serving APAC. Signing cooperation agreement on state budget collection. Book title, Please Do Not War Launch. DRT News is happy to have you watching today with the objective of ensuring fire safety and rescue for activities during the APAC Economic Leaders Week taking place in Da Nang in November 2017. Since the beginning of March, Da Nang Fire and Rescue Police has organized 20 drills on joint measures of fire prevention and fighting, allocations and facilities serving the APAC such as delegates accommodation, meeting rooms, etc. The unit has also cooperated with the city's armed force to implement anti-terrorism measures and search and rescue plans in specific situations. This activity aims to improve the capacity of officers, enabling them to handle incidents of fire and explosion, at the same time raising the awareness of citizens and leaders of social entities on fire prevention and fighting at these important events approaches. Invest Da Nang 2017 Forum, taking place in Da Nang from the 14th to 15th of October, is the most important event on the sideline of APAC Economic Leaders Week 2017. This is regarded as an opportunity to promote investment potentials and opportunities of the city as well as offer the local government's package of support to domestic and international business of all sectors, including IT. Besides investing in improving the infrastructure and clarifying policies to attract investment into IT, increasing connection with domestic and international IT enterprises, the city has made a great deal of effort to accelerate the progress of completing the construction of the software parts and concentrated IT parts to provide a wider choice of space and premises for IT businesses. Donna will continue to find ways to resolve business obstacles and challenges, study, supplement, improve and issue more mechanisms and policies to maximize the support for IT industries development in order to make it the sparehead industry of the city in the future. On October the 5th morning, the Vietnam State Treasury Da Nang branch and its subordinate units, including the state treasuries of Cam Le, Linh Chiu and Son Chai districts, together with two branches of the military bank in Da Nang, organized the signing ceremony for coordination plan on the state budget collection. Accordingly, the Vietnam State Treasury Da Nang branch will use its state budget collection account opened at the branches of the Military Commercial Joint Stock Bank to authorize these branches to collect taxes, charges, fees, and other revenues of the state budget, as well as the fines for administrative violations through both forms of cost or bank transfer. According to the State Treasury, the cooperation agreement has great social significance in the implementation. According to the State Treasury, the cooperation agreement has great social significance in the implementation of the government's policy on administrative procedure reforms under the Prime Minister decision number 225 on administrative reforms and diversifying forms of collection and remittance to the state budget. The city's People's Committee have asked the fresh water suppliers to stop collecting environmental protection fees for domestic wastewater in some districts of the city. Accordingly, the Dana Water Supply Joy Stock Committee will collect fees for wastewater drainage and treatment services and not collect fees for environmental protection among the organizations individuals and households using clean water from the centralized water supply system in six districts including Hai Chou, Than Khe, Linh Chiu, Gam Le, Ngu Hen Seung and Seung Jia. The Municipal People's Committee also required offering free environmental protection fee for daily wastewater of households in Hua Bang District. The city's Department of Finance was assigned to lead and coordinate with the city's Department of Taxation to direct the units to handle, collect, pay, manage and use environmental protection fee for daily life waste water from cell-deployed water sources in the city. As being a coastal city, the task of coping with natural disaster has always been paid much attention to by Da Nang City. Particularly for the industry and trade sector, the plan to ensure the supply of food products has been carried out. 
According to the Department of Industry and Trade, the local businesses and production units have registered to reserve the essential of food items. So far, nine local businesses signed commitment to spend over $56.2 billion in total stocking up on essential goods. The city's Market Management Bureau also informed that this force will strengthen the inspection of market situation, price fluctuations, supply source, circulation of goods, the declaration of price prices and the selling of goods following displayed prices of essential commodities as regulated. The Vietnamese people give priority to using Vietnamese products campaign has been implemented for almost eight years and has achieved positive results. The current trend is that the Vietnamese goods are increasingly valued by the domestic consumers. Through their propagation activities, the consumers' perceptions have gradually changed in trend toward giving priority to using the goods produced by Vietnamese enterprises. Many survey results show that the percentage of Vietnamese goods has also increased rapidly each year and accounted for a large proportion of the distribution channels. To maintain the achievements, in the coming time, the Ministry of Industry and Trade, along with localities nationwide, will continue to promote the propagation campaign on giving priority to using Vietnamese goods. The manufacturers, suppliers of goods are also recommended to continue to diversify models, improve quality and lower prices of products to meet the increasing demand of consumers. On October the 5th morning, the Da Nang Publishing House held a ceremony to launch the book title Please Do Not War by author Phan Thị Minh Hinh. Attending the ceremony was head of the party committee's commission for communications and education Dạng Vị Dũng. The 120-page book titled Please Do Not War features the records of memories, stories of children who suffered the severe pain and loss during the war years. The book also encourages readers to read and learn more about the children's childhood in both the North and the South Vietnam during the fierce war years, from illness, evacuation, and separation from their parents and relatives. On this occasion, the real characters in the book join the exchange activities with delegates, readers, contributing to making the value of the book more authentic. A dialogue theme, Nature Reserves in the Ways of Tourism Development in Vietnam, took place in Hanoi. This dialogue focused on the rights of households and community to natural forests. At the dialogue, the experts highly appreciated the potentials of ecotourism development in the nature reserves. However, this development has not been adequate. The reason is due to the low level in awareness of ecological value of the environment, the limits in infrastructure, technical infrastructure and tourism services, and the shortage in management staff which is professionally trained in tourism and ecotourism fields. In addition, another important reason is that that the city has not been focused on training the local human resources in order to maintain the objectives and missions of the nature reserves and make them continue being the target of tourism development projects. Appropriate policies and regulations for management of nature reserves are very necessary. And that's it for today's news. Remember to check out drt.danang.vn to rewatch our programs. Thank you for being with us. And goodbye for now.